What's up, Nerdyverse? I'm Daddy Louie, and in this video, we are taking a look at a game called Head Cases. So stick around. Before we get started, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe for more content and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Head Cases is a brand new game by Nathan Hansen. Uh, it is for ages 12 and up. It is for 3 plus players, so it is a party game. And uh, it takes, uh, well, about as long as you want to play, basically. They say about 10 minutes per player, but you can play for as long or as short as you want. It's that kind of game. Uh, this game has actually been on my shelf for quite a while. Uh, it was supposed to kickstart a while back, and then life happened, COVID happened, and uh, the game got delayed. But I'm very excited to say that the game is finally launching on Kickstarter on September 29th, which is why we're t finally taking a look at it today. Um, like I said a minute ago, it is a party game. Um, it's a psychological deduction party game where one player plays as the doctor, and all the other players at the table will draw cards. And then based on what the card says, they will act out um, either a person or, um, you know, something, basically. And the person that's the doctor has to diagnose them, either say what they are or what they have, based on the clues that they've been given. Um, what I think is interesting is that it kind of fits in that, um, you know, Cards Against Humanity type genre uh, while being something completely different, which is very interesting. But is it good? Well, if you join us on the table, we'll check it out. Okay, so right off the bat, I do have to mention that this is a prototype copy, so everything is, of course, subject to change. And like I said, I have had it on the shelf for a while, so uh, the development team may change stuff up from when I got it, but uh, mechanically and everything, the game will be exactly the same. So inside the box, we just have a giant stack of cards. Um, I believe there's uh, 250 cards in total in this box set. And of course, this, uh, this instruction manual, which the rules are super light. It takes about 10 seconds to learn how to play, uh, and then you're off and playing. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, shuffle these cards. These are the clue cards. You're going to shuffle these cards, and you're going to give two to each player, except for the player acting as the doctor. In each round, someone else will play the doctor. So you're going to shuffle up all these cards, and you're going to give two to each player at the table, again, except for uh, the doctor. And the players are then going to uh, look at the cards and choose one of them to act out and the other one to discard. So, uh, for example, we'll take a look at these cards here. This says, you are an annoying little twerp. This one says, you are a really bad makeup artist. So I would have to pick one of these. That is my diagnosis. That's what I'm trying to get the doctor to figure out. Um, you can say anything and answer anything as far as questions and stuff goes. You just cannot uh, say the text that is in red. So I'm going to go with really bad makeup artist for this one. Uh, let's look at some more here. Uh, you are a horseman of the apocalypse, death, or you are Bill Nye. I don't know how I would act this one out, so we'll keep Bill Nye. And then we'll take a look here. Uh, you need a hug, but you're afraid of hugs. Uh, you live in a van down by the river, so we'll keep that one. And then let's see our last little pile here. A zombie trying to find love or a mummy looking for its stolen artifact. Uh, we'll keep the mummy. All right, now the, uh, the doctor is going to go around the table, and uh, each player is going to uh, give them a clue, a one-sentence clue, uh, based off of what this red text is here without saying the red text. The doctor then can ask each of those patients two questions. Uh, and the patient is going to answer them as best as they can while acting in character. And then if the doctor can di correctly diagnose the patient, the patient gets to keep the card and the value of the cards. So um, it's in the patient's interest to act out as best as possible. Um, however, if the patient does not, if the doctor does not correctly uh, diagnose the patient, um, then the doctor gets this card face down 
as a uh, penalty at the end when scoring. So you get, at the end when you're scoring, you get all of the value of the face-up cards that you won, and you subtract one point for each face-down card that you have. The other way to get face-down cards other than incorrectly diagnosing someone is if you draw two cards on your patient turn and you don't think that you can act out either one of them, you can take a mulligan by placing one of the cards face down, discarding the other, and then you get to draw two new cards. So um, if you pull up two things and you're like, man, there's no way I'm going to be able to get this person, this doctor, to diagnose me correctly for either of these cards, then you are allowed to mulligan by taking a one-point penalty for the end of the game and drawing two new cards. And that's <laughs> everything that you need to know in order to play. Um, you know, it's very similar to games like Cards Against Humanity or um, uh, the meme game. There's there's a bunch of different ones. Um, but what's different here uh, that I enjoy is that the jokes and the fun comes from acting out the cards, not from the cards themselves. So in games like Cards Against Humanity, you're uh, combining cards and structuring cards, and you're getting those crude jokes from the cards. Um, you, you know, so anybody can sit down at the table and play, um, but the sense of humor that you have to have is going to come from what's written on the cards. Whereas here, the sense of humor and the jokes and stuff comes from the social interacting. It comes from people acting silly and doing goofy things to try and get the doctor to diagnose them. Um, the, the, the developers uh, said that this is for ages 12 and up. You can certainly play with younger um, folks. Some of them are challenging. So uh, if we look at a few more of these cards, um, you know, like this one here is only worth one point. Have a low voice. Um, you know, that, that's kind of easy. Um, a helicopter parent, that might be easy. A mermaid might be easy. Um, you know, but when you get to the ones that are worth like three, a librarian at a rock concert. If I can only give one clue and answer two questions, it's going to be challenging to get a librarian at a rock concert to be, uh, diagnosed. But if it can, you know, it's worth mega points. So, you, you, you know, the... The uh, the double-sided coin here is that the ones that are worth one are pretty simple to do, but the ones that are worth three, while challenging, are going to rack you up the most points. So, But anyway, that's everything that you need to know in order to uh, play head cases. Let's uh, clean this up, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Considering how long I've had this game on my shelf, I'm very excited that it's finally coming to Kickstarter. Uh, the game is actually a lot of fun. I'm not usually one for party games because I don't enjoy getting my jokes and my good times from, you know, the text on the cards. That's why I enjoy this game because it does things completely different by making the, uh, the, the fun and the... Again, those social interactions come from the players and not from the cards themselves. The cards are still helping you, you know, nudge you in one way or another in order to, you know, depict what it is that you're going to do. But it's the players that are going to have to sit down at the table and be as silly as they can, um, get really get into character, you know, to try and rack up as many points as possible. Uh, my family, my youngest is 12, so we're right at that um, at that age, you know, that is recommended. There are, again, there are some cards that are tough to do. Uh, we let her do give free mulligans, and everybody else doesn't. Um, so that's an easy way to incorporate younger kids into the game. But it really is a lot of fun. And uh, like I said, I'm just super excited that it's finally coming to Kickstarter. If you enjoy party games, if you enjoy deduction games, um, if you enjoy acting silly at the table to get some good laughs out of um, your friends and family, you definitely want to check out Head Cases. Again, it comes to Kickstarter on January 29th. I will leave links in the description below to everything, and I hope that you guys will go over to the Kickstarter and show them some love. So what do you guys think of head cases? Let me know down in the comments section below. I enjoy reading those and interacting with you guys. You can check out more of Circle of Nerds over on our um, social media. We have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Instagram. 
all at Circle of Nerds. Also, don't forget we have a podcast uh, called The Cosmic Disaster Show. You can find that right here on YouTube or anywhere that you enjoy listening to podcasts. We also have a brand new Friday night live stream on our Facebook page at 8.30 Eastern on Friday nights called Nerds on Ice, where cool nerds get fired up about today's hot topics. And for an extra bit of love and affection to us at the Circle of Nerds, consider checking us out over on Patreon at patreon.com slash circle of nerds. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I will see you in the next video.